Oh, this is long. This is going to be like for how many chickens? The whole place can contain about 10,000. 10,000? Wow. 10,000 capacity. Today we'll bring our small birds. Normally people rear on the floor, but we don't rear on the floor. Oh, you don't rear on the floor. We rear on the chickens. So that when we get room, they don't have to start up from the other house that can decide to move. My name is Karim. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a farmer basically and this is our poultry farm. This is our rearing pen. And this is where we keep our beds from day old chicks. Okay. We raise them for about 14 weeks here. 14 weeks? Yes, here. We keep them here for about 14 weeks. The layers, right? The layers, the ones that are going okay. to lay. First. So you only deal with layers? Yes, we do layers, cockerels, but we don't do broilers. Why? Um, just a matter of choice. Oh, okay. Just a matter of choice. Yeah, so we keep them up for 14 weeks from there, they take all their drugs. Then after 14 weeks, we transport to the laying pen. Okay, there is a laying pen. Yes, this is the rearing pen. Oh, no wonder. I, I'm trying to see where the eggs are. Uh, no, these are just where they, they will eat they... for 14 Oh, weeks. free food. <laughs> free food. <For> 14 weeks. <laughs> free food. 14 weeks. Then we we'll move them there. Then by 19, start 20 weeks, start producing for us till about probably about one or five weeks we one or five weeks yes that's like normally how many years like two and a half years two and a half years and two they... years actually so two like a, how many but, months before they start laying um, about 18 weeks 18 19 weeks that's oh, in your so first drop 18 19 weeks that's like two months plus no, it's not two months that's four, about four, four weeks months. okay but no. about four five months four weeks is one month Four weeks is one month. Oh, 18, 18. Oh, yes. I was thinking 18, eight. 19 weeks. Wow. That's when you're starting your first drop. And at that time, it's not even commercially viable yet. Really? Yes. It's mm -hmm. still small, small eggs. And it's not at peak production. It's not all of them that will lay at once. It's not laying small, oh, small. Oh, that's true. Gradually, gradually. What, before you can get commercially viable eggs that will start feeding them, they will reach about 25 weeks. Then from there on, Start enjoying your money. Start enjoying your money after All spending. All things being equal. Equal. Because there are times where you rear for 14 weeks. Okay. Put them there and they don't leave. It happens. Like what will be the cause of that? It happens. It can be hatchery error. It can be rearing mm -hmm. error. A lot of things could have happened along the line. That's why I said poultry birds are very, very, very sensitive. Oh my God. Oh. Very sensitive. Once you have an issue with your birds mm -hmm. and you don't treat it quick, it can close so, down your farm within a day. Within a day, close down the farm. Yeah, because I have a, I had a friend who who switched from poultry to piggery. He said the poultry ruined his business. Yes, it's very possible. Like even if he missed the time of feeding. feeding. Yeah, very important. They are they are just like um what's the word I want to use now? Once it's garbage in, garbage out, basically. Okay. It's garbage in, garbage out. Whatever you give is what you get. Seriously. What you get is what you get. Once you <laughs> oh feed, my God. Once you miss feeding at the wrong time, once they don't have water at a particular time, you definitely see the end result of it. It might not be immediate. It's definitely not immediate. Maybe mm. after the next two days. Wow. You start seeing problems. So that's why I say poetry bed. So why sensitive. don't you guys like uh, uh, have your particular birds like select the perfect one let them cross and produce your own yeah, that's that's not it works chicks. it's a larger process than that you need a hatchery oh, yes hatchery uh to start the hatchery you have to have nothing less than about hundreds of millions hey kept so hey start the hatchery hundreds a of millions hatchery. yes it's standard well you can just start from somewhere uh. Seriously, just, so it's not something you can. Wow. It's not. It's not. It's not something you just double into any. Oh, Hatchery is serious business. Serious business. Serious money too. Well, yeah. Yes, and mix. There is no actually in Abelkuta, right? Hatchery is in Abelkuta, not any that I know, of, but there are a couple in Ibadan. A mm. lot actually. Yeah, in I heard there are a lot, and there are some Ashri. here around. Too. Couple of Hatchery around this place. Yeah. Mm. So, 
what are the uh, like the challenges? The, the, ah, the challenges is plenty mm-hmm. in poetry. Challenges is plenty. Like currently, we are experiencing an egg, egg glut. I dig to my stone now. You see, which one eggs. is egg glut? Egg glut is when egg is not moving. When oh, okay, um, okay. When you're trying to, you 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 already have the supplies. egg, but to supply, come yes, on, oh exactly. my god. So if you're watching this so and you now, need egg, you better come here. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> come get your eggs and. Like how much do you sell egg now? Um, now our large eggs go for about one thousand and twenty naira. Then our medium size eggs nine seventy. Nine seventy, and we're making this video on December, like December third. Yes. Uh, yeah, December third, twenty twenty. So, uh, December third, twenty twenty, and they're still selling egg for nine nine seventy, right? Nine seventy, yes. and which does a smaller one. And one thousand twenty, one thousand twenty naira. So let's just take the twenty naira. Well, you just pay like <laughs> one thousand fifty or, or pay one thousand. So if you need egg and just keep me up, large quantities, keep me up. I'm gonna put, put his uh, Instagram and do below. Or if you don't want to talk to him in direct, you can just comment, reach him. Com- comment. Or reach I will, himself. I will, we are together. Don't worry, you'll get as much as you want. We'll go and visit the farm, you will see oh, the, the chickens, you will see them. Definitely. Before you can you look at this, we have one, two, three. And this thing is like this is like two hundred meters. <laughs> or how, how long? Mm, no, nah, it's about hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty, you yes. see? At least um You're close. I'm close. Very close. So Yes. And then like is it very profitable like Hmm, is it very profitable? I think that is that is subjective. Right now, right now it's not. Currently, currently it's not because the poultry industry has taken a hit this year, a terrible hit. A lot of farmers are out of business, starting with COVID. When COVID came, threw a lot of farmers out of business. Sorry, sorry. COVID, right? COVID came, threw a lot of farmers out of business because no movement, nobody's going to work, no money to buy eggs. Oh, so the eggs just right. And you said the egg um, has a like yes, eggs well. has eggs have shelf lives. Shelves. Shelf life. Okay. Like that means after they are laid, it is this begin to count. Okay. For it gets spoiled, you need a pressure button. So Expo- within within a month, you have to dispose. In fact, you should not even wait for up to a month. The end user should be the ones waiting for up to a month. Up to a month. Okay. At this farm, your egg should not spend more than a day. A day? You transport it out. So, laying it, the so next day you're ready to ship ready them to out. Ship it out. Yeah. But now, you said profitability, right? Yes, yes. It's, yes, not, yes. it's not for now, but before it used to be quite profitable because. Okay. I think one of the major problems we have is the fact that farmers, as poultry farmers mm-hmm. specifically, do not come together to have like. One voice. One voice. This one will sell at this one. This one will sell at down. This one will sell at down. There's a host of options for the customers. But if you are selling at a particular price, everybody selling at the unit price, you don't mm-hmm. have these problems. Like now, I'm seeing, for example, there's a scarcity of egg. Oh, sorry, there's a, a large amount of egg in circulation mm-hmm. without people to buy it. Yeah. Why is that? Because the big farms are supplying to our customers at lower prices. At lower prices. So we don't have choice. We have to beat our prices down or keep our eggs. So right now it's not profitable, but all in all, it's quite capital intensive though. But it's profitable. Yeah, and you have to spend a lot, put in a yes. lot of work. Pens, cages, uh, yes. birds, even water medication. supply. Yes, water supply. Because I can see there that you guys have used like up to three generators. Uh-uh. Yes, so. Stars we have, we have to, to get sell paid. some of our other gens, the diesel gens. We used to use diesel gens before. So why we did have to you sell them off? Because they were killing us. That's Ooh. just the word. They were killing us repairs, diesel, and everything. So, and then you, we were talking something. We were talking on the car when yeah. we were on our way here about the scarcity of maize or the yes. rain not falling yes that's all i'm trying to say that's why it's not profitable right now maize soya very expensive right now okay and those are the main constraints of the feed that your poultry base eats they are not substitutable they are not other things that you cannot get if you don't use this one i can use you can this one. use this and you, you know, can't use gary you can't use gary 
<laughs> you can't use a lubo. Oh boy. So we have to just and the customers will not understand that because they are not seeing it from your point of view. Yeah, like like the poetry I visited recently. So there is this guy saying by this December close uh, Christmas time uh, the the price for chicken is gonna go up. Oh definitely. Like insanely uh, go up. Yes, now. because Farmers are angry right now. Oh my god. Ah, they need to cash out. Everybody <laughs> needs to have a good December. Yes, including ah, the farmers. Everybody the needs to have it. Because walking. the farmers have had a terrible year. I won't terrible even lie year. to you. A terrible year. So this is the time for us to hold our customers. So, so if someone is selling uh like two kilo of chicken, a live chicken for the rate of two kilo will be like five thousand or seven thousand naira. Broilers. Yes. Yeah, about that now. About that now. So you have to buy. It's yes. like they don't have a choice. They can't, they, they can't beat it down because of what they've been through. Oh my goodness. Uh, people they people the want money. to have an idea of what we've been through. It's yeah, crazy. nobody wants to understand because everybody is just thinking, ah, it's farm something now. Ah, it should be cheaper exactly. now. Exactly. It should be this, it should exactly. be that. Right, right now, like three months, about four months ago, I was selling, I was buying feed, processed feed at about 3,500 naira. Right now, it's selling for about 4,500 naira. Oh, oh 3,000 to 4,000. Per bag. Per bag. And your chickens are going breads. to consume. 200 breads is one bag. 200? Yes. Ah, those people, they chuckle. Ah, hey. Really? Hey. 200 so, 200. To so, if you have like, like thousands, you should be ready to spend. Yes, right now we have about. Five. That is about seventeen thousand birds now. I will use. Close I, I, to, I need to drink water to that. <laughs> I will use close to ninety bags per day. Mm hmm. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of money. Ninety bags. A lot day. of money. So and you get like how many crates of eggs? Uh, on the average, what the calculation we use is farmers uses one crate to two hundred birds for five crates. I, I understand. One crate. One crate. To 200 birds. To 200 birds. For five crates. Five crates of egg. 200 birds produce five crates of egg. One. In a day? Yes. In a day. So 200 are supposed to produce five crates. On everything being equal. That's about at 80% everything. production. 80%? Yes. At 80% of those birds are laying. 160 of them are laying. 160? Yes. Ooh. And they have to produce like. So in a day, a bird can lay like three times? No. The bird will lay just once. In, in, once a day, oh, okay. every 26 hours. 26 hours. Ah, why not just lay like three times? Ah, pity no, the farmers. That's, that's that's what we're begging the best. Ah, but, pity you know, the farmers and lay even they twice. They can't do that. Okay. They can't do that. So it's once a day, every 26 hours. So five crates for 20, uh, for 200 birds per day. Five crates for 200. And we're selling our eggs at barely hmm. 970. Nice, barely, and a yeah. bag of feed ah. is 4,500 naira. And they're going to eat. So, 4,000, let me say we're, we're selling a for 950 So, let's naira. calculate it, yeah. Let's calculate let's it, man. Calculate let's calculate it at 950 naira. 950. 950. Times 5. Okay. okay. No, 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 just 950 times 5. That's 4,750. 4, I showed the camera for 4,750. So 4,750. And we're selling, we're buying our feed at 4,500 naira. 4,750 minus 4,500 naira. That's 250 naira. We have not calculated the cost of oh, these guys that are working. Yeah, the, people, the guy is working. We're not calculating the cost of water. Water. Oh my God. Medication. We're not duplicating the values of these buildings. Buildings. The cages. Oh boy. So right now, that's what I mean by farmers are suffering. Right now. Ah. If you see any farmer out there, you need to give them a hug. Yeah, just you need ask to. Ask them, are you doing okay? You need to. You need to. Yeah, so that's, that's the major issue we're having right <laughs> now. We hope things get better. Yeah, we hope Soon. so. Hopefully. Because the situation of the country is getting oh, worse. Oh my goodness, it's getting it's worse. It's getting worse. Going by this, there should be, there will be a full scarcity in 2021. Because I know a lot of farmers that have gone out of business totally. 
totally this year. So you said even a, a day old is like around how much you know? A day old for, for now. broilers for uh, for layers. I don't know for broilers. For I, layers. I think for layers it should have come down to about three hundred now, but okay. before. Yeah, um, I think around September or so I tried to but get a yeah to purchase a broilers a day old, and I was told like it's around five forty. <laughs> So I was thinking if a farmer can get a day old of broilers for 540, rear it for like eight to seven, uh, most, eight to nine weeks most of before selling. How much are you gonna sell exactly. it? Exactly. How much? Because you're gonna feed them. You give them drugs. Drugs, water, food, and some might die. Oh definitely. So, definitely. You have to account for mortality. Oh my god. Some so, can die and even at times all can die. Oh boy, that's terrible. Yeah, it happens. All can die. It happens. So it's, it's just crazy. like you just you you keeping your money and you working extremely hard oh, and you're goodness. not earning your money back. Or let's say the rats are chopping your money. The rats are chopping your money seriously. <laughs> yes, no, <laughs> because it's just like keeping your money in a place where they're full of rats. They just come there, they eat what they can, and mm -hmm. uh, the farmers are trying. They're trying. So thank you for explaining all these. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Oh. And if you need, uh, you you're selling pigs, right? Yes, I'm selling pigs too. So, and for now, pigs are at the rate of six hundred naira per kilo. So you, they we weigh it. You see what you're going to pay for. Yeah, definitely. And they are good condition. Eggs, we have surplus. Yes. You, Chickens have, too. Chickens, okay. Uh, old layers. Old layers. December, yes, okay. December. How much what will you say that? Do you know? Do you, do you have the specific price right now? Um, market determines price. Okay, okay. For old layers. So because you're selling in bulk. We don't sell. Um, oh, you don't sell mm, one by one. You sell like you sell in bulk. when you say bulk, uh, like 12 or 10 or what? No, mm, about 2,000. Oh boy. 1,000, like that. Oh boy. So who are the people who are going to buy that? Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe I'll invite you when we're selling. Oh, you have to, I have to be here. I'll invite I you when we're selling. I have to people be here. from the East. They bring trailers. I, I heard that East people buy a lot of livestock. Oh my goodness. Like, because a friend of mine who owns a pig farm said he wants to sell his pig and he contacted some people at the East. Yes. And the guy said, do you have like 200 um, They don't buy small quantities. They don't buy small quantities. So they just mm -hmm. come in bulk, pick up and go. Nah, I have to be here. No, definitely. No problem. So right, I'm going to show you how, how they sell it. I know. We're going to be here together. I'm going to record it and I'm going to upload it for you guys to see. So thank you so much for explaining everything. And sorry no for the condition of this Nigeria <laughs> making all this thing. <laughs> Hard. Uh, so we just have to. I know a lot of people. A lot of people are abroad trying to come to Nigeria or to invest in agriculture in Nigeria, and these are the things we're facing here. So if you're there trying to do something good, mm. and you need people for advice, it will be here. It will be. It will be a best shot for you to. You know, he's in the business already, and you can see it's not a small thing. Mm. He's, he's controlling something big here, like insanely big. I, I don't even know. If I can survive a month here, <laughs> I can't because when I, I won't be able to sleep well mm -hmm. knowing the price is going up. People mm -hmm. are not trying to buy things, uh, bigger, insane farm owned by the government or the ones who yes, no. embezzle their mm -hmm. money because that's what they're doing right that's now. That's what they do. They, 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 they embezzle money, they get land Pump at a very ch cheaper price. Even the lands, they just. They might sell it for them at the rate of um, 20,000 per acre hmm. because that's what happens now. Hmm. That's what's happening in Nigeria. Oh, but for them, how much How much is a land here? Like acres of land? Ah, acres of land, yeah. This place is now, it's not like London. No. This particular area is not like London. So like how much? Because What's the name of this place? This, this is Jaguno, Lasuju Village. Last time I priced... Lasuju Village yes. in... Um, what do you call... Ogudegba, Ogun State. So the last time you priced it, how much? It was about 900,000 naira per plot. Here. A plot? Inside the thick bush. So just As in imagine. inside the thick bush. This is just for farming. So I, I, I don't understand why farmland will be this expensive because... It's crazy. You, in, the, in the town, in the town, you can still get a land of 300, 200, 
even one something per plot. Mm. So getting a land for 900, how much yeah. are you going to get Can you imagine? acre here? So it's like a very, insane. very, 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 insane. very, very, it's insane and a bad idea. So for they who have gotten this place for a very long yeah. time, yeah, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you wouldn't have anybody to tell you you're disturbing, you're doing this, you're but, doing that. Yeah, no, at all. Okay. Because it's inside the bush. Yeah. You understand? No people around. No people. The only people that are around are other farmers. Okay. So it's a farmland and it's supposed to be cheap. The government should do something about that. I don't know. The but they should. Care. But they don't care because they get the money. It's not affecting them in any way. It's not affecting them. It can never affect them. <laughs> Alright, let's go check the yeah. chicken out. Yeah, so have the water here they just the open tank, it no. this is a tank no, for me. So run it down <laughs> so there's nothing like they want to lay egg this place can contain like how many chicken one cell yes uh, because they are still young depends on their age yeah as they grow older we continue to extend normally what we do is we use a pack okay. that's what these partitions are for Okay. This line is up. We just drop them. We start from there. Okay. So we just keep them okay. okay. So okay. when they're still young, them, when yeah. they're younger, so that yeah. they will have body heat. Yes. Yes. So we just keep them together about 20 in one, one cell. Then as we go that was <laughs> Oh my god, this is a lot of money. <laughs> oh my god. So it's like 150 meter long. And you see? So this is something they can wash down. So when they gravitate or shoot there, they can just they go in from there. 